you cannot always serve the world. It is true. We are a living, breathing bundle of emotions, and what is not right for you probably serves you right because every shortfall, you name a shortfall, is merely a narrow perception of that which you have labeled unsupportive of your character, your being, and or characteristics of your existence. Tell me, when shall we accept that we are all in one and one and all, including that which you call right and wrong, good and evil? We are all connected in one big circle, if I may be a little more blunt and literal. Let the presence of mere darkness reveal your light, and not vice versa, like following blind tour guides and neglecting your own consciousness. Let your ignorance be swallowed by the curious cat we all know we harbor inside. A compliment may definition be the soothing kind words of one's fairness in comparison to the world or anything other than them from one person to the next. But even though verbal, do you not see that every being was made for this? You are a complement of the species that brought you into this slowly wavering reality. Our lives are not ours to live, but if you have to be selfish about it, at least live for that tree that helps you breathe even though you pretend it doesn't exist. Live for that debris on the surface of that sea that foods the fish that caters to Mother Eagle's worries as she soars the skies to feed the next generation of soaring inspiration to these traveling novelties we call traveling luxuries to the other sea. Seas, stop, please. Recall your forever potent, pungent energies. Resold, do not diesel. Resold all those close to death bodies roaming this earth with undiscovered purpose. People who live their lives not knowing what life is, not bothered about this nothingness we call God, this glorified oracle of a deity we call creator, this nothingness that everything came from. Collect the whole of your all and turn it into love. Be a compliment to everything you see, feel, and touch. Breathe. Breathe for that grain of sand in your hourglass that, if discovered what it was, would use its will to either give or deprive you of a long, beautiful life. Breathe for them. Breathe for us. Breathe for everything that is just and unjust. Just breathe. Breathe like every breath was your last.